we've been invited to Temple Coombe by a modern day Templar. Jeff Wilson bought the manor house because of its connection with the medieval order on which the present day charity called the Templars is based. He knows the Knights Templar owns the manor here in the 12th and 13th centuries, but he wants to find out how much of his home dates back to those original fighting monks. The house has a 17th century appearance, but appearances can be deceptive. So we've brought along Berwick Morley, our historic buildings expert. And I'm told this is the remains of a spiral staircase. Oh, I've heard about this. Oh, that's right. Well, look, it curves round at the back. Yeah. Berwick's starting with a grand tour of Jeff's home, which we've invaded for the weekend. The house has been repeatedly modernised since the 1600s. Berwick's job is to discover if there's anything Templar hidden inside or below the present building. Oh, this is a nice room, isn't it? Well, this this big room, but I think it's been made into one room. It was several rooms. If we, yes. There's the front door over there. Oh, yes. yes and right. along the floor, underneath here, there's some flagstones. These are oh, much yeah. more worn up this and out that end. But it, where the door comes, there's a row of narrow ones, as though there was a wall up in between. And it turns a right angle here and comes over to oh, block the stairs Gosh. Well, perhaps... Berwick's already that noted that room. Jeff's house has been built back to front. Its more imposing face points eastwards. He's also intrigued by its unusual L shape. Could this red roofed long range here be medieval in origin? But it's around the modern farm behind Jeff's house that Mick thinks we'll find the boundary that enclosed our Templar site. So we're down at the south end of the site now, Tony, and when I came and had a look earlier, you can see there are earthworks in this field. Oh, what, there? Yeah, if you just come to the gate here, um, I better shut the gate because of the cows, I think. I think it actually helps, helps it to show up because you've got this track down one side, but immediately off that, you see, there's this ditch. Yeah, this here. Down here, yeah, and then that rises up onto this bank, yeah. which I think was probably the boundary on this side. So, you know, you come down the ditch, up a bank, and then you're inside the... So all the, this is inside the yeah. precinct? and of course, it's dro the land's dropping away over there, so that's probably the boundary on that side. Just by it, that little fence? Yeah, more or less beyond there. And if, yeah. I, if I actually sort of sketch it out on um, a bit of paper here, you see what we've got is, is um, the road runs across like that. Yeah. Um, the house is sort of like that with the bit at the back. Here's the farmer's house. We've got a trench going in there because it looks as if there's a ditch coming across in that direction. And then we're over here with a bank and ditch coming over there. And then it sort of drops away so that could give us the sort of area with the road on one side. There are a number of Templar sites uh, where we've got various buildings left, and there's, there's one, it's this one actually, that's been excavated, and there's, this is the layout of, of this place South Witham, or South Witham in Lincolnshire. This was dug some years ago, and there's the gatehouse, you see, and you see it's, a, it's basically a rectangular area, and it's full of buildings. Uh, and is that roughly the same size as this? It's going to be roughly the same sort of thing. And it might mean, you see, that in this field here, there are all sorts of barns and other buildings that, uh, you know, go with it. And we shan't know that until we've done the sort of geophysics across the area. It does look quite lumpy and bumpy here. Yeah. 